In this video, we're going to talk about how to divide fractions with whole numbers. So let's start with this example. How can we divide 4 over 9 by 3? What do you think? Well, the first thing you could do is you can convert the whole number into a fraction. 3 is the same as 3 over 1. And then you can use the keep change flip principle, which I talked about in another video. So basically, you need to keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. And now we can go ahead and multiply across. 4 times 1 is 4. And 9 times 3 is 27. So the answer for this example is simply 4 divided by 27. So that was easy, right? That wasn't too difficult. So based on that example, go ahead and try these two problems. Divide 7 over 8 by 2. And also, divide 5 over 16 by negative 8. Go ahead and take a minute and work on these examples. So let's start with the first one. Let's write 2 as a fraction, as 2 over 1. And let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. And then multiply across. 7 times 1 is 7, and then 8 times 2 is 16. So that's the answer for the first example. And we can't really simplify this fraction, so that's it. Now for the next example, we're going to do the same thing. 5 over 16 divided by negative 8 over 1. So let's rewrite it as 5 over 16 times 1 over negative 8. 5 times 1 is 5. And 16 times negative 8, let's see what that's going to be. That's negative 128. So that's the answer. You can also write it as negative 5 over 128. Uh, these two expressions are equivalent. Let's do one more similar example. Divide negative 3 eighths by negative 4. Now, when you multiply a negative number by a negative number, or when you divide a negative number by a negative number, you're going to get a positive number. So the final answer for this problem should be a positive result. So let's keep the first fraction the same. Let's change division to multiplication. And let's flip the second fraction. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. And two negatives divided uh, by each other, it's going to be positive. So the answer is positive 3 over 32. Now here's another example, slightly different but very similar. This time the whole number is written in front of the fraction. So what is 8 divided by 5 over 2? Now, we're going to write 8 as a fraction. Let's write as 8 over 1. And let's use the keep, change, flip principle. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. So what we have now is 8 times 2, which is 16, and 5 times 1, which is 5. So this is an improper fraction. That is the answer, by the way. But sometimes you may need to convert the improper fraction into a mixed number. Now we're going to do it two ways. Here's one way. 16 is basically 15 plus 1. And I'm going to divide each number by 5 to keep the denominator the same. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we have 3 plus 1 fifth, which as a mixed fraction is 3 and 1 fifth. So you could leave your answer like that if you have an improper fraction. The other way to convert the improper fraction into a mixed number is to use long division. So let's put the 5 on the outside and 16 on the inside. 5 goes into 16 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15 and we have a 1 remaining. So this number goes in front of the fraction. The denominator stays the same and the remainder goes on top of the numerator. So you get the same answer, 3 and 1 fifth. 
Let's work on another example for the sake of practice. Let's divide 12 by 3 fourths. So just like before, we're going to convert the whole number into a fraction. Just simply put it over 1. And then let's change division to multiplication by flipping the second fraction. Now let's go ahead and multiply across. Or rather, before we do that, we can simplify before we multiply. 12 is 4 times 3. So notice that we can cancel a 3. So in this example, the final answer is just 4 times 4, which is 16. So therefore, we have no need of converting this into a mixed number. It's a nice whole number. And so that's it for that example. Here's another one that you could try. Divide negative 14 by 2 over 7. So take a minute and work on this example. So let's put this over 1. And then let's change division into multiplication. And let's flip the second fraction. Now, 14, I'm going to write it as 7 times 2. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so that I can cancel a 2. So what I have left over is negative 7 times 7, which is negative 49. And so that is the answer for this problem. The last two examples were just too easy. Hopefully this one won't be as easy. Go ahead and try that one. So let's follow the same process. Let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Now, 5 doesn't go into 24. And there's nothing we can do to cancel the 5, so we have to multiply across. Negative 24 times 6 is negative 144. And so we have negative 144 over 5. So that's the answer as an improper fraction. But we need to convert it to a mixed number. Let's use long division to do that. Let's ignore the negative sign for now. So first, how many times does 5 go into 14? 5 goes into 14 two times. 5 times 2 is 10. Next, you need to subtract. 14 minus 10 is 4. And then we need to bring down the 4. Now, how many times does 5 go into 44? 5 goes into 44 8 times. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 9 is 45, which exceeds 44, so we can't use that. And then 44 minus 40 is 4. So this is going to be the remainder, which is the numerator of the mixed fraction. This is the denominator of the mixed fraction. And this is going to be the whole number. So the answer as a mixed number is going to be negative 28 and 4 fifths. And you can check it. 28 times 5 is 140 plus 4. That gives you the original numerator, 144. Now, what if you were to see a problem that looks like this? What would you do? If you see this problem, you need to rewrite it. This is equivalent to 4 divided by 1 third. And you know what to do from here. So this is 4 over 1 divided by 1 third, which is 4 over 1 times 3 over 1 using the keep change flip principle. 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 1 is 1, so the answer is just 12. Try these two problems. Divide 12 by 1 fourth, and also divide 1 third by 9. So let's rewrite the first one. This is 12 divided by 1 fourth. And then let's write 12 as 12 over 1. And then let's use the keep, change, flip thing. And so we have this. And all we got to do is just multiply 12 times 4, which is 48. And as you can see, some problems are not that difficult for these types of problems. Now let's work on the next one. If we rewrite it, it's 1 third divided by 9, which is basically, you can write it as 9 over 1. 
And then let's keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 9 is 27. And we can't convert that into a mixed number, so we're just going to leave it as 1 divided by 27. Here's another similar example to the last problem. Let's make this uh, 5 divided by 3 and divide the whole thing by 6. So let's rewrite it. This is 5 over 3 divided by 6, or 6 over 1. Then let's change division to multiplication by flipping the second fraction. And then just multiply across. 5 times 1 is 5. 3 times 6 is 18. So the answer is 5 divided by 18.